the general ledger, I mentioned that we keep multiple multi-year detail. Now that has a major change in the way we think about things because in the past, when we closed the year, what happened was all prior year detail disappeared and we ended up with just one, basically one year of current and to some to some degree we were we had the opportunity to operate in the next year as well. We could go through multiple months into the next year. The, uh, re- the, the GHL has been written so that in all the appropriate places where we need it, the fiscal year is prompted. And <clears throat> so we have basically seven fiscal years in this data. And if I'm looking at a particular piece of data, I can specify the fiscal year and then the, the date range of the distribution. So in this particular case, by default, I'm looking at September 2012 and then I can scroll through for my data. Now, obviously, I don't have much data out there, but if I go back to fiscal 2010 and change my dates, So here's our here's our data from 2010. What we're looking at here is the revised view function, but the important takeaway from this is that we we now have multiple years of transactions and we select these via fiscal via the fiscal year fiscal year function. Now the um there are several important things that follow from this. First of all, besides the detail and multiple years of detail, we can run trial balances, financial statements going going back in time. Each one of the years is its own silo with its own detail so that when we close the year, what happens is, as those of you who are experienced with the general ledger, when you close a year, we need for the balance sheet items to create balance brought forward data. In other words, we need opening balances for the balance sheets. Things like cash accounts, accounts payable, accounts receivable, have to have carry forward from the previous year. That then goes into the silo for the current year. So that what that means is that if we're looking at um, master information, accounting periods, in effect, each one of these accounting periods, fiscal 2011, fiscal 2012, fiscal 10, each one of those is treated as if it's a separate bucket with its own set of balance brought forwards, its own set of opening balances, and all the details that accrue through the year. Now, a couple of things that came out of this that that uh, that I'm I'm quite pleased with. Um, I think we've done a nice job here. One of the things that always was a problem with the general ledger was that if you had not closed, let's say we had not closed our fiscal 2011, and we were operating in fiscal 2012 down, let's say March or April, because we hadn't received our accounts year-end updates. The problem here was because we hadn't closed the current year, in other words, we hadn't made it the prior year, the retained earnings account, the uh, zeroing of the balances in the P&L, the computation of comparatives, all of that was simply not available, which meant that for the first one or two or three months of the new year, we were kind of hamstrung. We weren't getting all the information that we want. Because we now have this multiple years, we are now capable of doing a much better job. And in point of fact, when you run a financial statement or a trial balance or a working trial balance, and it finds itself working with data that's formally part of the next year, in other words, in this case, anything in the right-hand column, the system will automatically do a temporary close for you. Basically, it copies your transaction file, it then goes through, computes a retained earnings, pops it into the retained earnings account, clears the P&L, computes comparatives, and then runs your financial statement. Now, that can take a couple of minutes as it does all that copy, but the net effect is you can be uh, running a January financial statement in 2012 in this particular example and get fully developed comparatives for last year when you haven't even closed last year yet. That's a major, major help with the, with this system and allows you to actually do much better use of the general ledger than we were able to offer before. 